Hello everybody and welcome back to the Super Scope Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. <laughs> uh, where we were investigating a the murders. The murder, which is apparently If that is where I'm uh, No, not you. You don't get to walk in first as a cat. Um as bad as it could have. I mean, these are apparently serial How killings. Much farther can I go? Happening. Come on, give me Oh. Rid. Miz, are these, um, I'm cheating. Monstro, a doppelganger, I cheated so hard! <laughs> oh my gosh, I, my, like, I, like, laughed so hard, I think, like, the audio for a second didn't register, and I was like, oh my gosh, what? Um, I was like, no, please! Anyway, I was like, monstrosity? It just looks like a gnome or something, but, uh, nope, apparently. I was trying to see if this was a, uh, like, a flaming fist person. They're... They're all doppelgangers? Oh. I didn't, I thought doppelgangers were pretty rare and that people are always like accusing them of being like criminals and stuff, but half the time they're just people who want to like live and let live or whatever. Um, but apparently all these guys are not nice. Can I just like look in here super fast? You guys just aren't going to notice me because that's, that's sick, honestly. I love that for me. What must be here? Ooh. I could totally sneak and kill this guy. Be patient, child. Soon. Whoa, why are they so creepy? Talking so creepy. Uh, anyway, I'm sure I can talk to these guys, and as a paladin, I probably shouldn't just, like, yeet people into non-existence without long thought. Um, I'm just, okay, let me just, I, I'm, I'm, I gotta... <clears throat> I gotta go look. A black diamond, dark as Char's cruel embrace. I bet you that's what they're looking for. If it was just a black diamond, though, I'd be un unimpressed, honestly. Unimpressed. Is this where we came in? Yes, it is. Oh, weird. I could have just, like... <laughs> I think I could have just, like, jumped through... Oh, no, there was a bit... Okay, there's a wall. I was like, look at this, or is it? No, I think that is actually just a broken part of the wall, but it's hard to tell because of the way. Yeah, it is. So I could have, like, like, oh, we need a secret passage, and here's just, like, a broken open wall into the secrets. Well. Let's see, do I need, I don't think Halson for this would be, I'm just trying to keep an eye on, um, Oh, this is probably going to be a fight. I should probably turn Halston out of a wild shape. What to do? I'm going to gonna sneak up on these guys from not even sneak up. I'm going to walk up behind them, and they're going to be like, "What's inside?" And I'm going to be like, "Ha ha!" Gross. A Ming vase. Anything. Then move on to the flop house. I could just kill them, but the thing is, is I want to figure out what they, what they have, what they know. I could just avoid them entirely too. It kind of looks like, but no, I want to see what they're up to. What is it? Crag rock. Okay. Hi. Oh, okay. I don't even get to chat. Oh, I thought I would get to chat and be like, what are you guys after? I should have just stealth attacked them. This is what I get for being a paladin. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to some doppelgangers. I would not know they were doppelgangers, too, if I hadn't, uh, if I hadn't, you know done the, like, like, exam function. 
Oh, this is bad, actually. I have, like, no ranged people. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, Gale right now is wearing boots. Dang it, I should give... Hmm. Gone with the weave. No, wait. Uh, gone with the weave, my brother. Um... Sent to Carla. I gave Carla. I can't do that. Let's cook with fire, baby. Yeah, dang. I was like, I could send Carlac out with those boots. Yeah, we have. I have no ranged people, and so this is kind of pointless. Why did it turn? Why did it go away? Gale can take his action to give Carlac the boots. That'd be so funny though in combat too. Could you imagine that like, D&D? You're like, hold on, wait. You're the one who has the can walk on ice without without uh, tripping boots. And he's like, yeah. It's like you're in the back. You're not gonna be on the ice. <laughs> Throw me the boots. And then you do. Oh wow. It uh transformed crawler mucus. Ew. Field report, what? Deathstalker Zoom. Aspirant Dollar is talented. If Dutch careless, the dagger he discarded lurked within these caves somewhere. Though I know not where, I can smell it. The fear musk from his kill stands in the air. After the act, you get to let them marinate first. They stand, lie, sit, stock still as the poison fills are limb with lead, knowing only two perfect facts. They are going to die. There's nothing they can do about it. Okay, so this is the guy. Uh, okay, this is that paralytic poison. So the, but the doppelganger, well, if they'd want to take the, uh, the face of a priest of Ilmater, that would be, like, a good idea for whatever shenanigans they want to do, but if the people are already dead, you know, it's like, May the gods take you first. Like, everybody knows they're dead, you know? So it's like, you can't use their face anymore. That is where I need it. Looking ahead. Yeah. All of them were shapeshifters. Which is wild. Um, let's see. Can I cast. Doesn't look like I can cast Speed of the Dead on anyone. The corpse remains silent. And I turned it off these other ones. Why does it sound like like somebody whispering in the background? I don't like that. Hmm. Oathbreaker night boots. Look at those. Athletics plus one, medium armor. I mean, mine are better. Kind of sounds like someone's still alive, which is really spooky. Someone was arranging these corpses. What for? Flowery key. Yeah, what, what, what did the key tell me? We found a lock to fit a flower key? I get, that's cool. I don't know, or a flower lock? Oh, oh no, it says find the lock to fit the flower key. I was like, I don't know, I didn't know we found that. Okay. We found a strange flowery key. It might open something above ground. Okay, well that's cheating, but okay. A clown's severed torso. That's, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. At the effigy of Ilasara, who watched and waited, what use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood or in the red. I was wondering, because if Orin is a doppelganger, like, or she just transformed herself, but she could be a doppelganger. Um, but seeing, like, five doppelgangers, I was like, hmm. I wonder if that has anything to do with her, and it apparently might. Is Dribbles the Clown dead? That's really unfortunate. 
to the temple of Baal, I found a cruel and deliberately staged murder scene in Baldur's Gate. It could be the work of Orin. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, Dust Clotter, that's a name. Let's see, the doppelganger shouldn't be there in this one, but this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We're all apparently laid out. And there's all this blood on the eyes. How, how lovely, how lovely. Blood all the way up there. It sounds like somebody's breathing and I don't like that. There's organs. There's that, the absolute, okay. see what's up here. Oh. Oh, more dead people and people got dragged from here. It seems like this is, is this where he was trying to hide people? Where the the priest was trying to hide people and then they got like absolutely wrecked. I think these were the people Father Logan was trying to help. Yeah. The priest could help them now. Oh, that's the burial so rights. unfortunate. These aren't like the tieflings I know, right? Well, I hope not. I know one of these, I think one of the quests was saying we need to, oh, for the night song, we need to speak to Lorican, which I believe no, Lor yeah, Lorcan is the wizard that the one tiefling guy was, like, really wanting to meet in Baldur's Gate. Dear Mrs. Priest, careful but erratic hand of a newly learned writer. Mum says I need to say thank you more, so thank you. Thank you for telling off that nasty woman who was shouting all those nasty things at me. That's three times I've wrote thank you now. Four. So I think Mum will, I think Mum will be happy. One more thing. Did you see my teddy anywhere? I think I dropped it during all the shouting. But you're not a child. Unless she was just picking up, um... Does this have anything on it? To Vesla, my love. To Redil, my love. Why do you have these? Okay, I won't sell them. I keep ones that I think have, like, names on them that, that might be useful later. Please, Father Lorgan, Rector Yanis, if you have any food to spare, our stomachs yell at night like kick dogs, carrots, apples, will even crunch an onion if that's what you've got. So they were trying to help them. Scroll of Wall of Eyes, that's a handful of a name. Um, but look at 20 to 120. Let's give that to Halson. Tenants of the Broken God. The prayer book is blotted with tear stains, and a few of the pages bear the mark of frequent consultations. In the face of aversion, persevere. In the face of aggression, endure. In the face of one who is suffering, comfort. The Broken God must shed his tears, for without he would be heartless. Likewise, you will cry, you will weep, you will feel the lamentations cutting upon your shoulder blades. The entire entry has been scratched out in frustration. So somebody is maybe trying to like find peace and solace in the like lamentations of ill mater but was finding it difficult to do so ooh and they there's the absolute symbol hmm cool dang yeah i was like i'm like okay i'm only going to click on this cuz it's got the the setting symbol or this the these? setting the settings yeah settings symbol be easier. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, cloud kill. Eh? Oh, I don't think Charmed, Gale sure. has a wind spell anymore. Chomped. Darn it. That was very useful. I just cast light on the torch and now the torch is even brighter. <laughs> Well, it's not flammable, and it's doesn't it's not dissipated by water. I don't know what I got rid of. 
that made all these disappear. It said we'll remove clouds, and it says cloud kill, so I hoped it would work, but apparently not. I'm trying to think, would an antidote work? I think it just gets rid of it, though. It's not like it would help me. Step kill. That's a trap. Oh, at. Uh, it does say antidote. Saved. Okay, so it helps a little, but not a lot. Oh, so there's a vent. I could I could throw something on it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I wasn't sure if this was going somewhere. So the antidote helped, but it wasn't the end all be all. I don't know. There wasn't really anything of note in there. So, oh, and you can like throw barrels and stuff too on things. I need to remember that. We shall go look and see what the bottom area has to show. <coughs> oh! Still maker. Hold- you can cast hold person. This is the dagger they're looking for! Oh! Oh, okay, this must be. And he dropped it in a this hole. This blade's wicked look matches its deeds. Poor Father Logan. Oh, okay, so that's the, uh, the murder weapon. Yeah, 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 so we found the murder weapon. But, I mean, we're kind of, again, we're making kind of big assumptions that it is the murder weapon. I mean, it talks about what he did, but, like, what was that? <laughs> uh, it talked about, uh... Yeah, the guy being like, oh yes, I love murdering people who are paralyzed and taking my time and blah blah blah. But, well, I guess that's pretty reasonable. But I don't know, this is, I don't know, maybe it's because I played Witcher 3, right? Where the doppelgangers generally, I, don't, I guess I don't really know how doppelgangers are in um, Dungeons and Dragons. But in Witcher, they're like, they're only thieves sometimes because that's the only course left to them, right? People are like, you're a thief, you're a thief, and they won't give them like real honest work and so then they have to turn to theory right one of those like self-fulfilling prophecies you know it's just like like you've created like the people the people the system have created this you know this perpetuating cycle um but in which of three the doppelgangers just wanted to live and let live you know and they were usually very hated um and blamed for things that they didn't commit you know uh, but this was like a whole group of mean doppelgangers, and so that's like gonna be bad for any nice doppelgangers that are around, you know? I played a changeling for a bit, and I really she was a changeling warlock. It was very fun. Yeah, where are we at? Can we, are we loading in, game? We good? Okay, so another secret entrance. Let's see. Where am I? We're get oh, we're very close to the Baldur's Gate itself. I can't I can't see anything. Um Do I have to move the boulders? I am so strong. Oh, okay. I mean, I popped out, so I assumed I could pop back in, but apparently I had to move the boulders. That's actually really sneaky. I don't know. I haven't seen any like that <laughs> up, up at this point, but like, they're just like, yeah, there's some boulders here. No big deal. Turns out they're covering a cave entrance. All right. I believe we've done everything down here. Is that a skeleton? Look at that. What giant thing died down here? Okay. I was gonna say, they can't give me a, a giant skeleton and not let me look at it. It's hard to do from the normal camera angle. 
dang, that's just there in the dark. Like, and nobody would, like, see it normally. Unless you're looking at the map closely. That bodes well, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Let's check out the dormitories. That door I'm not allowed through. Looks like it just goes to the outside. Yeah. Easy furniture. Oh, the false bottom chest. Somebody was wanting to keep their stuff private in the crowded dormitory. A non-denominational guide to gardening for faithful folk. Interest, that's a, that's a broad, trying to be a broad audience. Whoever, whoever you pop your prayers to, everyone needs healing. Interesting. Register of Temple Dead Speakers. A death will often cause or in turn be caused by an imbalance of suffering on such a case. Wow. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it's like the imbalance of humors. On such occasions, a priest must commune with the spirit to see if they can address their imbalance. Please list your trained temple dead speakers below. Lashbury Katrine, Sister Clarwin, and Father Lorgan. Oh, Lorgan was a dead speaker. Apply for dead speaker training at the earliest opportunity. Can't have none at the next temple inspection. <laughs> Hmm, Sister Clarwin died too. Is this oh is this the serial killer ring? A book full of furtive prayers for forgiveness. Let me be absolved. My knees may stagger, bones may break, but my faith is everlasting. The cure of Gehenna. The most the cur of Gehenna, this most defiled creature of murder. Ball? Is that ball? And held it in his immutable embrace, in his most perfect knowing he walked with it into the sea of falling stars. The cur clawed and screamed and ripped and tore, but he brooked no quarter when the sea ran around with the blood of the vine, the wailing and gnashing ceased. The creature was dead, no trace of his commanded faith will remain, save for a humble iron helm which washed ashore with nary a scratch or sea rust about it. With, tear, with the tears of a most faithful fortunate. So, maybe Ilmater is being targeted by Baal, by Orin, right? Because back in the day, there's bad blood between Ilmater and Baal. Oh? Oh? This is what I am thinking. I could snoop through everybody's chest, but... Penned by Rector Yanis, consolidates various sermons. Do not, brethren, mistake the wonders of gathered society for the decrees of those atop it. Oh, that's it. That's a, that's a line for the ages. It is the duty of a faithful torment, and it is your duty to know when these decrees beget unjust suffering. It is not an easy duty. It is a duty that will scar your hands from carrying it as well. It should. We must at all times recall a central fact. To suffer is not holy. Okay. To suffer is a consequence of a holy duty made practice. And Mater does not enjoy his pain, my friends. Oh, and I will... Oh, oh, oh. Because doesn't Ball... Ball enjoys suffering, right? Oh, so there's like there's like a fine line here between Baal and Ill Matter, I just realized, right? Where they're both gods of suffering, but one is like a kindness and takes tries to take suffering for others but does not revel in it, whereas Baal enjoys inflicting suffering and like in seeing suffering even on his own people, but on others unwilling participants also. 
And all the dichotomy here. That is so interesting. I like, see, this is the little things you pick up if you read the little books. The monitor does not enjoy his pain, he endures it because it is just. Our own pain is an acceptable price to pay, but it is not a good in itself. Some of you may ask, you, some may ask of you, if you are loved by your, by your God, why does he allow you to suffer? Why does he allow anyone to suffer? The question is strong rhetoric, but it has an answer. One cannot be healed without first being hurt. One cannot truly know joy without knowing its absence. That's pretty standard in a lot of religious like uh, terminology. But to live a life full of absence, full of suffering, would be to know only one thing. We enact balance in the name of the Lord of the Rex, for it is right and it is just. So this is kind of like the Jedi too, right? Where it's like the Jedi, Jedi versus Sith, right? Where like in the end, both of them are wrong in how like the Force is not just a dichotomy of opposites, right? The Force just is. Um, and the Jedi interpret it one way, and the Sith interpret it another, but both go to very far extremes. Um, like, the thing I'll never forget is when I learned that the Jedi just, like, like you kind of accept it when you're younger, and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you get older, you're like, the Jedi just, like, steal children, kind of. Like, not steal, but they just, like, take children. Like, they don't really take no for an answer. If you've got the Force, you do need training, but they remove you from your family, right? And that's, like... That's actually kind of horrifying, right? And they are, the Jedi epitomize this idea, a kind of of absence, but only compassion, right? Like a, like a detached compassion from the world, right? Whereas the Sith are like very much involved, like they're very they're passionate, you know, uh, but not allowed to love either. So both sides, the Sith and the Jedi, are not allowed to fall in love, right? The, the Jedi try to have the absence of passion and the Sith try to revel in passion, but neither one of them are allowed to do the maybe purer, more, um, like, what do you say, um, more benign aspect, you know, of, of passion, of love, you know, um, so that, that is interesting too, so you have either, you can, uh, so he's saying, right, like, you're not, you can't just live a life of absence, of no pain, no suffering, of, of nothing, you know, um, because then you won't, you won't be able to empathize, you won't be able to feel what others feel, you won't, you know what I mean? But you also can't just live a life for suffering, you know? That's so interesting. I'm definitely getting like Buddhist, like, enlightenment stuff, right? Where like life is suffering and the, the whole idea is to, at least for like what I've learned of Buddhism in the past, like, they say life is suffering and flesh is suffering, and so you the whole idea of like enlightenment is to transcend that, you know, to be above pain and suffering. Um, and like certain bodhisattvas who could uh, ascend essentially to enlightenment choose to stay on on earth or, or where, whatever, I'm not like super like knowledgeable about it, but they choose to stay in order to teach, which even then they're like, you can't teach it, you just gotta do it, but like they'll stay to try to like help, you know? And so it's it's really interesting. Oh, cool, cool. This is this is really fascinating. Um, I'm sure none of this will actually help me in game, but like I'm having a good time. The collected sermons of Lashbearer Katrine, uh, commissioned on her ascension from Open Hand Temple High Priest of the House of the Broken Gods, revered mistress. Oh, piteous, tormented, we live in wretched times. So eager is our populace to beg succor from the city's teeth, and so readily is such succor available that our broken god is seldom lamented to. Okay, this lady's sounding a lot, but the name, with a name like Lash Bear, she doesn't sound super nice, but. The weeping of the fetid masses should fall righteously onto the blood-burned ears of Ilmata, not into the hands of useless bureaucrats. Interesting. A query often wet on the tongue of Ilmata's loyal, a query often wet on the tongue of Ilmata's loyal wretches is definitely a phrase. Uh, is thus why? Who does he bid us aid? How must we aid them? The answer is simple. We must give these sordid souls the tools to aid themselves. A working knowledge of the Elmatary creeds. Unless these unfortunates know to channel their suffering towards the crying god, how is he supposed to intercede for them? Think upon these words, my children. Okay, so she doesn't sound nice, and she sounds like she does actually want to, like, like, whereas Father Lorgan was like, this, you know, suffering is, is merely a means to an end, and it's not something we should seek out, necessarily, or not, not revel in. You have to seek it out to take it from others, right? And this is obviously giving some, like, you know, like, 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 Christian, like, Jesus Christ vibes, right? Where it's like, um, Christ took the suffering of, of other, of, of the world, you know, is the way it's written, and upon himself, so that, uh, everyone's sins would be forgiven. Um, 
So that kind of is like, I, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this too, right? From it matter specifically. Um, but it's also, uh, it's so weird that it's like, you know, oh, look, there's, you know, the system is too good. And, and you know, socialism is, 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 you know, giving too many resources to people. So nobody's suffering. So our God doesn't have any worshipers. And it's like, well, you know, I think Ill, Ma Ill Matter doesn't seek suffering is what it seems like, right? Like if there's, if there's little to no suffering, that seems like that would be what he would kind of want. He's just there like to, to help in case of suffering, right? You know? Um, it's not like he like wants and craves more suffering. This one sounds like she's going off the deep end. Memoirs of Sister Clarwin, who's already dead. This book details the path of faith in one Shira. Oh, Shira! Oh, Clar Shira was the 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 daughter or the the niece of the monk. Who I damned to all eternity, apparently, even though as a paladin I probably would have taken his suffering upon me, but I personally as a player didn't want to, so that was bad on me, because I was like, I don't want to deal with that hideous laughter stuff, and I don't want to deal with a lack of wisdom, <laughs> you know? Moving from the light is how he always phrased it, which I thought a bit much. A ray of morning light dims this day, he would insist. I just can't really see it the same way. I can comfort, I can listen, I can heal. Of course, my talents are best suited in worship of Ilmater. I have no ill will towards the morning lord. Indeed, I think a shaft of his light will always shine in my heart. I worry too. There's something that glimmers in Pa's eyes and talks about the light, and it's not something I like. I, al I alight to Baldur's Gate next ten day, to the open hand temple. Maybe they'll know what ails him. Okay, so this was just like the first page. Just he tells the path of faith. I was like, what? This is what a... Like a... Like her, like the last entry of her journal, but this looks like a, 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 an early one. And the Morning Lord, that's the one that we saw, that other temple we've been, we've been to where the Githyanki were. Any other tidbits for me? I don't want to get in trouble. Really have anybody who's sneaky. Oh boy. Shh. Quiet. I guess we can try. Come on. want to see what's in. I'm not going to steal anything. Although they're going to- I wish you could relock. Too bad you can't relock. I just want to make sure there's no, like, here's my manifesto of evil, you know? Carla, oh, is this where the fake bottom is? is? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Never mind. A crit Sweet fail. Shall find me. Well, now he would be a good one for this, but I was wondering because this is a level fifteen one. Oak Father's blessings. Oh dang! What is the investigation? It's just a difficulty class. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I don't think I have anybody who has good intelligence anymore, honestly. Attention. All right, maybe I need uh, 
Maybe I do need what's his name, Asterian. Fiddly things. All right. Let's see. All right. I'm gonna do it for kicks and giggles. It's obviously this middle one that's rated a 15. That's got something in it. Oh, sick. Aw. I won't steal them, but that is nice. Apparently this is what happens to your handware when you clock an angel in the chops. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they just get radiant all of a sudden. Those are actually pretty sick gloves, honestly, but I don't have a... I don't have an unarmed person like that. Okay, let's go to camp. I think Asterian's probably my best, but does he have decent intel? No, he's kind of an idiot, but like not in a bad way. Okay, you can stand. These things have stayed interesting. Um. Oh. Light on my feet. Oh! I have a letter from Arabella, and there's that girl that we saw that we, like, sent off? The ink is still fresh, and the letter is drawn in a careful hand. Hey, you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. For another, you let me stay at your camp. And for another, another, you found out what happened to Mom and Pops. I'm on my way- Mom, I'm on my own now, and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me. And as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate, so I'm headed there first. Anyway, thanks for everything. I won't forget it. All right, Arabella. We may yet see her again. Well. I'm just- There's another dog cat. Dog cat. Big cat. Big do I have... I do have speak with animals on. Okay, well. I gotta go figure out what this is. Then I gotta figure out who has good intelligence. Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were Yeah, really I don't want to leave the city. Before, and, um, my mom hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Yes! We can play one a cup! Oh my gosh. Oh, we're, um, we're all still in a squad? Okay. Yeah. Of course you can stay. Pick yes. a spot and settle in. We've got a fire and everything. I can cook really good. Whatever you want. Thank you, thank you. This is just, I pick up strays. This is how I do. Hang on, where'd you go? Because I want to talk to your cat. Um, okay. Your Very cat well. is beautiful. I'm just a cat. P -p please, <laughs> talk to Yenna. Well, why, why are you so are you scared? So nosy? Um... Is Yen... Oh, I don't know. She's obviously not, but... Is Yen uh, mistreating you? Is my best friend. She's kind. Her help her, not me. Do you know what happened to Yen's mother? Good, I don't think. She was so very sick. Then maybe she made like a cat and went off to to spend her last life. What? Please Can I pet you? don't. Yeah, you don't seem like you'd want to be petted. <laughs> the cat, like, the arching back, like, no! <laughs> don't mind me, just gathering strays. Um... Intelligence, I do <laughs> Everybody, all my friends are idiots! <laughs> uh, Asterian... Wait... Will probably doesn't have a high intelligence. Oh, his is alright, but he, uh, apparently... Who is it? Asterion has, like, proficiency in it. 
I thought as a rogue he might, but I kind of was putting him on dex. I guess it was just like use dexterity, but yeah. He's actually, he's probably the next best bet. All right, buddy, let's go. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be <laughs> infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, we do have to worry about the doppelganger. Oh, God, that's something to think about. This game would, too. It would. Now I have to examine all of them all the time. Perhaps I need you in my party. A follower or two. I prefer to uh -huh. travel in smaller groups. It's more um, intimate. Let's see what everybody has to say, I guess. Just little dialogue lines. Fucking shapeshifter. She'll try to break our best asset. Our trust. Fortunately, she's no match for our second best asset. Me. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. Uh, okay, bye bye. That is so fun. Our second best asset, me. She's a real one. Mama K. I have battled great evils, been mocked by villains of all sorts. But Orin, she is beyond even Thorm. Her mind is twisted beyond recognition. What is she capable of? And where will she strike next? Uh, we're nearing the city. Are you excited to return? Reluctant? Baldur's a little bit Gate of gold? is where I first raised a glass in toast at the tender age of 14 and got so tipsy from wine, I puked in Dillard Portier's bushes. It's where the flaming <laughs> fist chased me after I'd stolen a peach from a cart in the wide. I got a good chewing out over it, too. It's where my father taught me to hold a rapier, to read books of law, to know right from wrong. It's been seven years since I left. It's no paradise, but it's home, and it's worth saving. There's often a connection to one's home, you know, like, you just, or what, even the places that you pick is home, but you, there's always something about the place you were raised in, too. Why is there, oh, I thought there was like a, like a boar over here. I was like, what? But it's my babies, my strays are over here. Or in toys with us where she could destroy us. Whatever her motivations, I hope she reveals them quickly. I think she wants us to kill Gortash. That's her thing. Is like it would be easier. It kind of hedges her bets, right? So she doesn't have to do it and get in trouble if she messes up. But she thinks if we could all do it combined, that she could probably take whatever she, like the, if we take the stone from Gortash, then she could take it from us or whatever. I don't know. Okay. He's not a doppelganger. That foul shapeshifter Orin is like a scavenger beast, probing us for weaknesses. Do not let her shake your resolve. I won't. I've been unfed, but honestly, uh -huh. you've surpassed even what would you like to know? Anytime. Okay. Bye. All right. I will probably just call. Oh, wait. No, we need to talk to Lizzo. Where are you at? I don't have to talk to Shadowheart, though. <laughs> we also had. I know there's another guy who, like, pops out of a mimic. Where he at? Orange. Burn away the shadows she hides in, tear off her mask, and you'd reveal her for what she is. A shivering child. Mewling? Oh, I definitely thought she was going to say mewling. I don't know, I'll probably give somebody the astral touch uh, tadpole if they want it. It seems like Asterium wants it, but I don't know if that's going to play into his whole... Like, sacrificing all his siblings? I don't want to do that. So. There's so much to do. But thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons.
First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.